So if you're out in the street throwing firecrackers, injuring and killing police and screaming at people that you want racial justice and harmony and you're doing it with violence and death, you see, that doesn't actually make sense. And the fact that we fall for that is a tribute to the modern so-called educational system, modern media owned by a handful of really corrupt corporations that put the writing on the teleprompters for the so-called news anchors to read and the commentators. They're just actors, the people you see on the TV. Their scripts are being written by the ones who are destroying us. So if you want to do something about that, make things better, instead of going out and attacking people who are just other people trying to get, live their lives, you know, and you're, you're thinking that by violence and, and killing and burning and looting and carjacking and all these things, you're going to end up with social justice. Um, no, <laughs> you're, you're working for the opposite. And the rulers laugh when you do that because they say, wow, we did it. We made them so dumbed down that they destroy themselves and each other so we don't even have to do it. That's what they're thinking when they're watching you. So you want to stop that. It's not too late. Your goals are good if they're social, really if they're social justice and harmony and um, sanity in the world. Those are good goals. But the only way you're going to get there, which is a secret according to the rulers, and they never want you to find out, is to change yourself. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. It's so much easier to just go out screaming with the crowd. And that's going to tear us down. It, it's already doing it. It's endangering the survival of humanity worldwide. So if you want to do something worthwhile with the remaining part of your life, even if you've made a mess of it like most of us have done up to now, it's not too late to change. You have huge power. This is the biggest of all the secrets being kept from us is what we really are. Get your health back as a start. Find out the suppressed real health information and use it. Get free of aging and degeneration and learn how to bring back your immune system so you don't need injections of poison or wearing things over your face or anything like that. You, you can work in harmony with microorganisms and you're not terrified of germs all the time. That's not our normal state at all. And then use that improved energy and health and do your real work, which is internal. It's much, much more powerful than you know right now. We're not allowed to know about that, but it's still there. You know, when people talk about consciousness and they make these different belief systems about it and they talk about it, but they don't really do anything that's strong enough to change the outside world, they haven't gotten there yet. But you can. And the more you're willing to do to get there, the more you can affect on the outside. But you got to start with yourself. You're the microcosm of the whole rest of creation. And your condition affects everybody's condition. It's something we're never supposed to know. And it, it's, in, it's so powerful you can't describe it. Learn. Apply it. Get your health back. Get your immunity back so you don't need help from the outside with that at all. The whole terror that we're being given about germs and everything, that's a complete hoax. That's to keep you weak, fearful, and completely unaware of what you are and what you could really do. What the rulers are afraid of is that you're going to find out before they've destroyed everything and turn it around. And they shouldn't be afraid of it because you can save them too. We don't have to destroy the bad guys. Underneath all their programming, they're exactly like us. Sorry, but they are. They're, they're not intrinsically evil. They're just very, very dangerous because they believe they are right now. And the person who can turn that around is you. But you've got to do it in yourself. So find out how. Apply it. Be brave. Don't just take the easy way out of running around with the screaming, you know, insane people burning everything down. I know you're frustrated and that's normal, but um, you have work to do. You have really important work to do. So if you sense that this is something valuable and that you might be brave enough to follow it, um, I suggest you do that and share it with everybody else that might be willing. It's, uh, it's the most demanding work there is, but it works and it's useful. I'll be back soon.